everyone welcome to funnel to tunnel.com so today we are in to our fifth video in the series of nine videos where we are discussing about the cargo planning and dead weight calculation and loading sequences and pre-store plans on board bulk carriers so like i said this is the video number five so in case you have not followed the previous videos you can always go back in the playlist and check those videos out so as to have a better understanding and clarity about the topic we are discussing we are discussing the problem whereby uh, the ship was to load at uh, the port of akaba and uh, has to discharge at a port of uh, gangavaram in vizag uh, the cargo is rock phosphate and uh, we have determined the cargo to be loaded and that problem to be 69,884 by means of dead weight calculation. Just in case if you have not seen that video, I would advise you to just go to the link I have provided in the description below. Click the link and you will be taken to that video. So we are using OEC Loadmaster program which is the onboard loadicator program and uh, apologies for uh, bad audio quality uh, we are rep recording this on ship and we don't have proper equipments over here since this is example number two i have put the title as example number two condition at gangavaram so if you remember i have taken a screenshot of that whereby we have come to the conclusion that 69,884 tons of cargo can be loaded because the limiting point in the voyage was coming at the discharge port Gangavaram which is 13 meters if you can see on your screen also we had a transition from tropical zone to summer zone and also on the departure displacement at Akapa where we calculated the draft to be 13.04 so if you go back and watch that video you will come to know that there were primarily three stages in the voyage whereby the draft limitation was coming up at Gangavaram and on the basis of that draft restriction we have calculated the cargo to be at 69,884 tons. The cargo was rock phosphate so let us quickly go to the loadicator and check can we carry 69,884 tons of cargo and if yes then how we shall be distributing it among the seven cargo holds on board as well as the draft requirements so we shall be creating the condition for these three stages of the voyage starting with the limiting point of draft that is Gangavaram it is always good to first create the condition for the limiting point and then you move backwards till the load port so let us move ahead and go to the load gear program and check all right so here we are on the first page of the loadicator whereby i have mentioned the date as today's date i've mentioned the title as example number two and condition at gangavaram uh, please remember that so we are making the condition at gangavaram because that is where the draft limitation is existing which in this case is 13 meters lower water line is summer because discharge port is in summer and i'm keeping the sea condition up for ocean cargo holes are zero the fuel oil tank distribution i have kept so that the total becomes equal to 784 this figure we obtained from the chief engineer on board and the distribution also he gave to us and that's how we put in the columns and the rows the diesel oil tank is supposed to be 239 so 198 tons got accommodated in number one and number two whereby the balance got accommodated in number five FODO tank which is a tank for holding the diesel oil the fresh water we have kept as 230 which is as per the dead weight calculation we carried out the ballast water is the unpumpable quantity which is equal to 150 again this is same as the one which we mentioned in our calculation the constant is 340 which is the default constant of the ship 
so only thing remains over here is the cargo loaded so let us go so now we have to fill up the values in the weight column of the cargo hold tab and check that how much cargo can be loaded so that the draft does not exceed 13 meters and start putting the weight like i said i like putting in the volume column few people can go by the weight but i will quickly go by the volume because it is it is faster you just have to type in two digits and you will get certain weight over here in this case you have to punch in five digits so it is much quicker with the volume percentage so let us start filling it i will put here about 90 percent 95 percent 95 percent we have put in some values of the volume percentage over here and we have got a certain quantity of cargo in the total column that is 67,009 tons but before putting the uh, volumes I forgot to mention that we need to update stowage factor in this case the stowage factor is 1.26 and which is, that is meter cube per ton but the specific gravity or the density of the cargo is the reciprocal of the stowage factor so you have to take the uh, reciprocal of your uh, stowage factor mentioned as per the IMSPC code or if the shipper's declaration is at your hand that is the best way of doing it then uh, I've taken 1 divided by 1.26 which gave me 0.794 and since it's a homogeneous cargo in all the holes I have mentioned the same storage factor for all the cargo holes so I have already updated it in this case the cargo is 67,009 tons if you remember we need to load 69,884 so let us increase certain quantity if you see over here on the right side in the summary you've got a trim of 50 centimeters so let us load something in forward let's go ahead and make it 95 percent Okay, let's make it 98% so you've got a trim of negative which is the vessel is down ahead but you still have certain quantities remaining to load which is about 2000 tons so let us load more let us make this 85% Now we have got about 1000 tons of cargo to be loaded. Let us put 12,000 here. And 12,000 here. Okay, so we have got 69,835. We need to put 884. So the difference is. 69,884 minus 69,835 is 49 tons. Let's put it in the center cargo hole that is number 4. It's 49 plus 5218. 5267. 5, Alright, so you have got a total quantity of 16,884 in the 7 cargo holes. If you look at the corresponding draft, that is 13 meters. So your dead weight calculation is absolutely correct in this case. The only thing which is required is to store the cargo in a better way, check the longitudinal strength, check the limits of hog and sag, which is mentioned on your right side. Also check that you, because it's discharge port. So your arrival draft should be as close to as even key. So let us uh, prepare the storage plan accordingly. So now let us quickly adjust these figures and reduce this trim to almost even keel 
and then we should be arriving at what we desire all right so after doing certain permutation and combination and rounding off the cargo figures in all the cargo holes except for cargo hole number four we arrived at certain storage quantities in all the cargo holes and the total became 69,884 if you check on the right side bottom your four mid and aft draft becomes 13 meters the displacement is 84,258 which is same as the one which we calculated in our previous video so that means our dead weight calculation is out was absolutely correct you can see that the vessel is not much hogged as well as not much sagged which is a good indication also on the right you can see that the maximum sf is 72 percent while maximum bm is ranging to about 42 percent by percentage if you check it the condition is acceptable so this storage plan seems workable for me let us now check can this pre-store plan hold good if we take this weight distribution to the previous stages of the voyage that is while we are departing the load port akaba we are now on to the stage two of our pre-store plan whereby we are checking that the distribution which is holding good at gangavaram will it be holding good at while we are transiting summer zone also will it be okay once we depart akaba that is what we have to check so we have already planned for gangavaram let's take the ship in reverse to the to the point where we are entering summer zone in this case the only thing which needs to be changed is the vlsfo the lsmgo quantity and the fresh water quantity rest everything remains same so let us go to the cargo hold remains same the fuel oil quantity i have changed as per the figures of 825 and 239 respectively the diesel oil figures have also changed accordingly the fresh water has also changed accordingly if you see the fresh water is 220 so i have made the fresh water 220 over here the ballast water unpumpable remains same and slop tank is nil so if we check and the condition i have named as condition at summer zone so if you check on your right side there is not much of a difference the vessel is still even keel at the point where we are transiting the summer zone that is the ship is leaving tropical zone and entering summer zone the draft is 13 meters so we are not exceeding the limitations which is very natural and normal because we have calculated that the limiting point in the voyage is coming at Gangavaram. So this holds good. If you check again, condition is acceptable. Very nice. Everything looks hunky dory. So let us move on to our last stage that is departure displacement at Akaba. That is departure condition at Akaba. So let us quickly change the three variables that is VLSFO, LSMGO and fresh water and check what are the drafts we are obtaining at departure Akaba. All right, I have made a new condition by the name of example two condition at Akaba whereby the cargo hold figure remains same as it was in the last two stages of the voyage. The fuel oil tank has changed and so is the diesel oil tank. The fuel oil tank figure and diesel oil tank corresponds to the figure of 1097 and LSMGO 241, which is uh, obviously a variable throughout the voyage if you see, because the ship consume fuel. So which is very natural I have already amended the quantity and given the distribution as told to me by the chief engineer. The same is with the diesel like I said the fresh water has changed to 150 because 150 is our departure ROB of the fresh water which we have taken from our, for our dead weight calculation. Let us go to ballast water which is again 150 tons unpumpable but we have kept some slop 
tank because the ship will be at port and we shall be retaining certain quantity of the slop sewage into our holding tanks that is 30 tons which was also mentioned in our dead weight calculation it is always good to take certain quantities over here because in most of the ports you are not supposed to throw out slop and sewage that is grey water tank the that is the grey water and the sewage water it's not supposed to be thrown out few ports have this regulation so it is always prudent if you take this quantity into account all right moving on just check the cargo holds looks fine the figure is 69,804 which is our loadable quantity if we check the corresponding draft that is equal to 13.04 forward draft is 13.01 and the aft draft is 13.06 we have got a trim of about 0.06 meters that is about six centimeters and the hawk sag looks perfectly fine to me maximum sf and bm is coming about 72 and 42 which is the ocean condition if you change it to the input condition you will be getting about 54 and 22 percent which is very reasonable the hawk sag is also reduced in this condition so this seems workable to me it looks a good pre-store plan to me so you know in which all holes how much quantities you have to distribute in order to arrive at a draft of 13 meters at the port of gangavaram which is the limiting point in the voyage i will just do a quick check the current condition is acceptable so for the load port this is what the cargo distribution quantity you should be giving we will be also discussing how to write a good pre-store plan so that everything becomes crystal clear and the way it is supposed to be submitted thank you so much for watching this video have a very good day see you in the next video thank you bye